Hmm. Welcome back to the big board and to uh, Tactical Combat System. I was trying to get, I was going to say the name of the game, but I'm not. Ariete. You know? Because uh, I always say it wrong. I think now I'm starting to say it wrong on purpose. But the point of this video today is not to uh, complain about the name of the game or uh, say it incorrectly, but rather to have a tactical discussion uh, in the context of this system. And I wanted to explain a few things and then get your opinions so that you could help me out. So I'm... Now, I may or may not get this video up in time, uh, and uh, we may just have to make decisions anyway, but I thought it'd be curious to see what everyone else thinks <clears throat> about what I'm about to say. And so here, here's, the, here's the dealio. TCS is a platoon scale game. Uh, half hour turns, I think, is what we're doing here at the moment. It depend, depends on uh, the particular module, how long a turn is, but uh, half hour turns here. Set in the desert, right? So... Italian reinforcements have just arrived. Next turn, there's another swag about the same size. So basically, uh, you know, three companies worth and uh, similar again coming and more artillery coming. <clears throat> and at the moment, there's a sort of a pseudo dust storm flying around. So visibility range was only eight hexes. Last turn, it was two hexes. And all the turns prior to that, it, it's been... Uh, uh, 10 hexes. Now, the, the question I have is, as, as these reinforcements have come onto the board, they're trying to assess now, do they deal with the threat here on this very low rise? It's a five meter rise, right? So it's very un, you're sort of undulating, rolling terrain. Or do they deal with the threat here on, the, on, on this side, which is kind of flanked by a squadron of four tanks and some big, heavy 100 millimeter guns that have great range, seven range. They might be able to hold off here. <clears throat> but what do I do with these guys? But more importantly, what do I do with the turn? In the turn, we roll for initiative, and the Italians have got the initiative for the operations phase of the turn. Now, if they take initiative, they will begin to move and potentially close in here. Eight hexes is, happens to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Th these guys are in range <coughs> uh, right now. So um, do I begin moving, closing in for some shots or do I flip to shooty mode and uh, start plinking away at range? Or do I about face with uh, this for formation and attack these tanks because I can do that with this uh, this formation <coughs> because their, their orders are to attack the tanks. There's tanks there, there's tanks here. No tanks, no thanks. Which ones do you want to attack? Uh, can these guys hold them off? Is it worth us trying to shoot at these dudes here or do we sort of back off? Do I wait, do I give the turn, the initiative turn to the allies and let them start shooting first? Keeping in mind that wherever you see, let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's get the glare out of there. Let's zoom in here. Uh, <clears throat> wherever you see one of these guys in move mode, down this hex spine and down this hex spine, across this hex spine, etc. Blocks line of sight. So shooting down here, I actually, I'm okay here, I can shoot into this hex. But these guys, and these guys can probably shoot back okay. But for instance, these guys can't shoot into here, nor can they shoot through there. Obviously, they could shoot at these little uh, humbler uh, Scout cars, but no one wants to waste a shot on those bad boys. We want to kill tanks, right? And in particular, we want to kill the smoke generating tanks. So I'm curious about what my tactical choices are here and what I what I should do. Because it's not really like ah oh, that's just awesome. I just bumped the counters. Uh well, I 
think they were like this. A two up, one back. It's okay. I, I bumped the dice. You can't see it. There you go. You'll never know. All right. <clears throat> uh, so it's not like we have a front here or anything like that that we're trying to protect or a... Uh, I don't know. There's no there's no advantage to being shot out from the rear with the with these units unless you get into a crossfire situation, and a crossfire is going to have to happen basically with units with the same formation, uh, pretty much. I don't, I don't see how I don't see how you can combine fire from an SFA fire from or a point fire from one from two different formations is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so just curious, I've just been noodling this for a few minutes and trying to want and wondering, you know, should, well, what should I do as the Italian? Should I take the initiative and uh, go for it? Or should I let the, let these guys attempt to close in and see what they how they deploy? Or should I start shooting at range? This would be eight hexes would be long range. And I can shoot up to double my range without a penalty. So maybe that maybe the right thing to do is to flip all these guys to uh, fire mode and take two shots each at these guys along along this axis here. They can probably even they can actually even shoot at these guys that are moving. I get a, a bonus for that. <clears throat> versus uh, versus trying to close here. So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we've just made our mind up. Maybe we'll take the initiative, see what sort of damage we can do, particularly maybe to this formation here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I can't reach them. They're out of range. We can go double our range. Is that? What's the range? Here it is four. So... Everybody else is out of range, so I would have to move into range and suffer op fire. With the penalties that come with that therein. Hmm, dang, tough choices. This so this is why this is why I like this game, is because there's a lot of a lot of thinky bits. And uh, it's interesting. Hmm. All right, well, look, it's not a particularly entertaining video if I'm not telling you something or actually doing something. So I'm going to go away and decide what I'm going to do. Maybe you can chip in and offer some commentary. I'll post this up straight away. It'll be out of sequence with the other TCS videos on this particular particular topic. But nevertheless, it will be, uh, it'll be fun to hear what you have to say. So all the best, and uh, it's the... Christmas Eve Eve, so it's Wednesday, I think, today. So Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, happy holidays and all that uh, good stuff. Uh, season's greetings. And we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.